Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a binder admin um, video uh, or I suppose uh, setting up for comebacks and um, starting a new collection and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so I have quite a few things to go through today. Um, I think I will start with uh, the A5 binder because I have a new collection to add and then one collection I'm going to be changing a bit. Um, so, yes. So, um, first the collection I'm adding. Um, I have already put in enough pages uh, for the stuff I'm going to be doing. Um, so, I recently, uh, recently about a week or two ago <laughs> at this point, um, <clears throat> I decided that I want to collect Ive um, and from Ive two of my my uh, two biases uh, Gao and Rei and so I need to set this up um, when I was thinking about collecting uh, Ive um, I was like contemplating whether I want to collect two members or three members and that would have just affected which binder they were going <laughs> pretty much uh, because I'm collecting two members they are going here but I if I had chosen to collect three members it would have gone to the girl group uh, the A4 bind binder um, but yeah um, uh, with I've I couldn't cho choose a ter third member um, because I have to bias frickers <laughs> and I can't choose between them so I decided to go with with just my two biases um, so what I will I be collecting from them uh, at least for now uh, all like um, regular album photo cards uh, at least for now uh, I will see how uh, what happens with them in the future um, but so that means from 11 for example I'm not collecting the ID um, but everything else uh, I will be collecting and then for uh, love dive and after like I'm collecting the jewel case ones as well that fits perfectly um, like very neatly because the first page is going to be 11 and the, the next two are going to be a love dive and the last two are for after like and they fit perfectly <laughs> so that's really nice um i'm going to be making the fillers uh, now as well so yeah um hold on so for after like i need four no, I mean 11. <laughs> um, I have actually uh, two cards uh, for this album on the way, actually. Um, one for uh, Ray and one for uh, Go. And um, I'm going to uh, mark the ones I have. I have Ray's, um, the first version card on the way, and uh, the uh, second version card for um, for Gaul. Uh, 
11 and then uh, for uh, love dive I want to explain a bit how um, these pages are going to be set up um, if you know what the cards look like I think I will add uh, them a picture on the screen but um, both of the members cards look the same when uh, like the person tree and then the jewel case cards uh, the outfits are the same between those versions and unlike most people uh, when people like most people at least see it it seems like that most people like to group up uh, cards that look the, have the same outfits or have the same vibes vibes I don't like to do that uh, so I don't want to put the person tree and the jewel case cards on the same page so I'm going to put person one with the jewel case ones and then two and three together um, because I will that's just how I want to set my collection up um, so the first page is going to be the person one and the uh, jewel case cards Then the second page is the person 2 and person 3. like that and then um, after like uh, for this one I'm going to be putting two and one and two on the same page and three and the jewel case because those cards are not similar however I'm not sure um, because I like the out of the all of the cards my favorite versions are the three and the jewel case so I might decide to uh, put them on the first page and then the versions one and two on the second one but for now i'm going to be setting it up with uh, one and two on the first page and so on um but uh, i might change that uh, in the future when i have <laughs> have the cards um but for now yeah one and two for the first page and the uh three and the jewel case on the second page Then uh, this last page.
so yeah that's um for five um yeah um it's kind of <laughs> um kind of funny how i was told that the the 11 cards are going to be hard to find which makes sense um because it's their uh, debut album However, um, overall, it's hard to find any cards, uh, at least through the uh, ta sale tags in Instagram, because there's a ton of like group orders for um, like um, what are those pre-order benefits and lucky draws and other stuff like that. So I can't find anything other than the <laughs> the um, pre-order stuff. Uh, so it's kind of, well, yeah, of course it's hard to find because I can't find anything, <laughs> but um, I'm going to be pretty slow with this, at, at, especially at the moment because um, I need to, like, save up a bit, um, so I can't really go looking for the cards unless there's like I find a group order where the cards are like extremely cheap because I have seen uh, stuff like that. Uh, I have just been a bit too slow, <laughs> but yes, um, maybe I might buy stuff, but this might be uh, a bit slow. And then. The next change is for uh, 17. Um, first of all, uh, I don't feel like um, collecting the 17, 17 album cards um, because it feels like um, so many people live in, um, in the US and uh, a lot of karats, I mean. <laughs> live in um, US and don't do anything, um, don't sell or trade uh, to Europe, uh, so also and also I just don't feel like collecting the album cards, um, so I'm changing a bit, uh, I'm going to be collecting um, for Woozy, I'm going to be collecting one, like two pages of the uh, ruby cards. Um, one card per concept. There is technically seven concept concepts, uh, but one concept is, well, in this case, one outfit. I kind of originally went with one out uh, one card per one outfit kind of thing and then uh, one of the limited uh, or the special ones because I happen to have the special card for the uh, the card that's going to be there on the first page and it would have been here um, once again separating the outfits <laughs> um, but then I noticed that one outfit has technically two concepts so I'm collecting two cards for the same outfit but technically two uh, uh, different concepts so I have eight cards um, that I want to collect uh, you have seen these three uh, I took the limited you no know, the special one out already because I don't want that one anymore um, but yeah so I need to, to let's see I'm checking off camera because I have a sheet that I use to determine where everything goes. So I have the first one and I have the second one. This one is 10, so it's the second one. And then this one goes um, here. So 
So now I need to do pillars for the rest of them. So I'm just going to write the numbers because I I haven't chosen like specific cards per concept uh, that I want. I have I have like a wish list on my Instagram and like there's a few options per like um, by concept that I uh, her concept that I would be happy having. Uh, so I'm going to write down like um, the numbers. Like the next concept concept is uh, numbers 11 to 13. So I'm going to write the 11 to 13 and so on. Um, so. Once I get more cards, I just refer to the back of the card with those ones. So yeah, um, the next one is 11 to 13. And the next one is 14 to 18. Yes. thing with these ones, uh, because I have, um, I have two um, more these regular one, regular ones that I can trade for the other ones that I need, and then I don't know, like because I don't, I have no idea how much these cards are worth. worth. Uh, uh, so I'm happy that I can trade or hope that I find trades, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with the special one, because I have no idea what that one is worth, specifically. Um, so, I might trade that for, like, just put it for up for trade to any wishlist and see what people want to trade it for, if they want it. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, next is 19 to 22. And then next is 28 to 31. And the next one is 32 to 35. Um, yeah, I was originally thinking about collecting all of these, <laughs> but uh, 35 is not um, uh, like you can't divide divide uh, 35 um, with four, so there would have been one empty space. Um, and I don't like that. Um, I mean, of course I could have decided to do that and then the last one would have been the, the one, um, speci special one that I have because it's, the, that number is, uh, 36. So it would have looked okay, but that's so many cards, um, and I don't want that, so this is my solution for that. So that's now it for this binder and yeah let me move it out of the way. So next up uh, is uh, setting up uh, for comebacks. So first I have a setup to do for Dreamcatcher. They are having their comeback on... is it 11th of October? So in 10 days. Uh, and uh, yeah, I am now setting up for that. Um, uh, if you have like collected or at least know what it's like to kind of collect a uh, Dreamcatcher, they usually have eight or seven cards per album. Like be with between versions, there is eight, a seven or 
eight in total. Uh, so I was preparing for that um, to collect about that many cards, but this time there's more. Um, there is uh, either 12 or 13 cards, and by that I mean because there is between there is a uh, this card called Agent card that's that you can get from the limited one, but also from the reg regular ones. And I don't know if the ag agent card is going to be the same between, reg like, regardless if it's from the limited or the regular. Um, so I don't know if there's 12 or 13 cards. I'm going to be setting up for 12 cards. Um, and then uh, once we know the details, I decide uh, if there is 13 cards, I will decide which card I'm not collect- like I'm going to be collecting but I won't be storing here. Because um, Dreamcatcher did uh, uh, for the first time they have a platform version and that one comes with a PVC card, so I guess it's a thicker one. Uh, so if there's two different agent, agent cards, I'm not going to be storing the PVC one, PVC one here. However, if the agent card is the same between the regular and limited, I'm going to be storing the, the PVC card in here. If that makes any sense at all. Um, so yes, that's about roughly how I'm going to be doing this. So there is four um, regular photo cards in the limited one. Then there is four different ones in the regular ones. Uh, so that's already eight. Um, then there is the ancient a ancient card, card and the PVC one. And then on top of that, so that's um, ten cards. Um, 10 or 11 cards, I mean. And then there is the platform that has two cards. That means 12 or 13 cards. <laughs> and my plan is to, um, on this first page, I'm going to be putting limited ones and limited ones, like, like this. And then uh, the two platform regular photo cards here. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be doing the first page. And the second page is um, going to be again this this way, and these are going to be the regular ones, and then the the different interesting cars are going to be in here. Um, so now that I think about it, um, maybe I will do a, a double spread. So, uh, like I I'm doing with. Um, twice, like this one, um, so the layout would probably be like, um, well, I, I can't really compare because there are seven cards, um, but maybe like uh, these, these and these, because I like it like that, so maybe I will do that instead, um, so I can look at all of the album, same album cards in one spread, though I don't know if I will like the fact that once I turn from this page I, I will see only back, see only the back sides of the cars. Mm. Maybe I will do a spread because um, I like seeing all the cards on the same page. Um, do I have enough fillers <laughs> is the question. I will get more if this is not enough. Um, but yes, so first I will do the limited ones. Um, so what was the album's name? <laughs> Apocalypse Follow Us is the album name. I think I won't, I won't be writing the album because otherwise I'm writing a lot. So <laughs> just Limited.
like this and then once we have like seen the photo cards and just know what the pack back background colors are like the packs of the cards um then i'm going to be deciding like where everything goes uh because for example with um these ones hold on a uh, road to utopia i and also uh the what is it um summer holiday uh the backs of the cards uh, affected my choices a lot and with uh, these ones as well um, because I also like that the backs look good <laughs> um, so yeah once we have uh, once the comeback happens and we get to see like the photo cards and to know what the backs look like um, then I will decide what co card goes where um, both based on the backs but also the fronts because again I don't want similar looking cards together so yeah but we'll see but those are the um the, the, the limited cards I'm going to first make the fillers the last fillers um for this and then I will um struggling to speak today. <laughs> then I'm going to be putting them them in. Um, so the bottoms. This one um and then Okay, so <laughs> oh by the way related to this album um <clears throat> I ordered originally ordered mine from um uh, hey town for you because they have that neat thing that is um, the fan gloves, so you can get, like get everything like forty percent off at best cases, I think. Um, so I ordered from there, and I was thinking the shipping is extremely cheap um, for three albums um, because in my head, platform weighs literally nothing, <laughs> so. For uh, for three albums basically, um, it was um, unusually cheap. But I just like sure sounds sounds um, good. Um, I will order from there, and then a few days later, I get a message, an email from K Town for you, telling me that they messed up the album weights, and so. The shipping cost was not correct, and um, which is um, oh no, um, boo hoo! <laughs> Why is the shipping so expensive? It's not supposed to be that expensive. Um, <laughs> anyway, I I think so at least. Um, but they said that they will. I either have to cancel my order myself, and I will get the. Full refund, um, but I either have to cancel the order myself, or they are going to be cancelling them. That that um, on October third, uh, and so yeah, like so I can't be getting the albums for that cheap. I was get uh, I was originally getting them, which is kind of dumb because you made the mistake. Why uh, why do I have to pay for it? Um, but sure, okay. Um, so I cancelled the the order, and then I was like, uh, 
like I calculated how much it's going to cost uh, with the new prices and uh, then I went through all, all the websites I can think of uh, where I could order the, order the albums to find the cheapest option and it's still K-Town for you because of the, uh, the fan club uh, discounts. So um, I'm just waiting that I get my money back uh, because I paid with PayPal so it might take a few days for the money to reach me, come back to me. Um, but once I get my money pack, uh, back, I'm going to be ordering the albums once again. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of annoyed because they made the mistake. So maybe they could um, just deal with it. <laughs> I mean, I understand that they, are, they were losing a lot of money because uh, in the end, my total cost is going up by... 30 euros, 30 to, what, to um, like um, 20 to 30 euros. Um, my uh, cost is going up because um, the conversion rate between US, uh, like US dollars and euros, is terrible at the moment. Um, and PayPal's uh, the 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 exchange is even worse so uh, it ended up cost en ended up costing me way more um, but it's still still the cheapest option I could find anywhere like uh, the next cheapest was like 10 euros more so uh, yeah ordering from K-Town for you even though it annoys me so much um, but at least it's the cheapest and the fastest option for me so once the album is released I sh should be getting my albums in in a week after that so at least I'm getting them fast and for the cheapest but it's still annoying because I was so hyped up about getting the three albums under hundred dollars no i mean hundred euros but instead i'm paying way more <laughs> so yeah it's kind of annoying but um it, they are still the cheapest option and the fastest option so i can't really complain um i mean i can no one stopping me from complaining um, but I, it doesn't do anything <laughs> for me to complain. Uh, so yeah, but that's the situation. Um, I'm not going to be writing anything on the the ones that go in the middle, the ancient agent and the PVC, because I don't know what's going to be there exactly. Um, so yeah. I will wait to write the stuff there. I mean, I suppose I could write the agent on one of them, but eh, don't feel like it. <laughs> so the regular ones. Color coding, coding between the first dialect like, between the cards is not um, specific. I just use the colors that I have the most, <laughs> pretty much. Um. This setup overall it might change like drastically. Uh, once I see what the cards look like, um, but for now, this is how I'm going to set it up, and it probably will stay this way. Um, so yeah. Honestly, now that I think about, it, I feel like. 
doing this so that um one of the different cards is going to be on the other page and the other one like so that they are going to be um like next to each other and then have the um other platform card on this page So yeah, uh, this is going to be a long video because I still have a lot, <laughs> but yeah, that's um, this album and then it's time to do um, solo uh, stuff. Oh, I have enough fillers, we'll see, we will find out. So. Uh, so what's happening next month with um, solo artist releases, because it's actually kind of funny. Um, there is three, I think. No, four. Four <laughs> solo artists um, that I'm interested in that are having a comeback um, in October. And um, there is Umbi uh, having, I think, her third album release, so second comeback. And then uh, Jayon, uh, which is one of the also one of the uh, ex uh, Ice One members, is having her solo debut. So that those two are there. Then there is. Uh, Park Jihoon uh, having his comeback, and then the first newest member solo debut, Reiko, is having his comeback in October as well. The one funny thing is, all the, those four, like every single one of them, is having a comeback on the exact same day, <laughs> and and that's October twelfth, um, and it's so funny because first we got i think umbi we heard about that first i believe and like yay that's fun and then i think next up next up was Beko. and when i found out that the date is the same as i was like oh that's funny <laughs> then came jaeyoung october 12th I was like, there's three solos on the same day, and I was laughing about it with my sister. And um, I, I was visiting home, uh, so yeah, I was chatting about it. I got to my apartment and found out that Jihoon is having a comeback as well on the exact same day. Um, <laughs> so there's th three comebacks on the exact same day and um, yeah Dreamcatcher is having in 11th so the previous day and then there is Kepler who is having comeback on 13th so there is six comebacks on the same week uh, back to back so um, it's kind of funny uh, but because of that because previously I have been going with um, chronological order with uh, all the solo stuff um, because I separate the solo artists based on what groups they are in or were in um, uh, so for ex Ice One members uh, like the groups are like BTS, Ice One, New East, 101 and TWICE yeah TWICE is also here um, <clears throat> So like I I'm divided they are divided by that like that and the cards are in chronological order means um, all the all the artists artists are mixed up uh, together um, so in the case of 
uh, Umbi and Jeyong because they are having comeback on the same day. I'm putting Umbi first because I believe she is older, and then Jeyong uh, second. Um, so yeah. Uh, and like always, um, with Ice One, uh, I'm collecting one card per person. Um, Umbi's album, it's Lethality, I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. It has two versions, um, I believe. At least two photo book. I, I need to um, specify photo book cards. Um, so, for example, when uh, Songmoon had his recent comeback, it had two photo books and one jewel case. I'm only collecting for the photo books. Um, but yes, Umbi has two photo books, but the cards between the photo books are the same. So I'm collecting just one card for uh, Umbi because of that. Um, so yeah, so first is Umbi's uh, that's the way you're supposed to play it. Yes, and then. And then. Um, Jayon has two versions. There's A and B versions. And the cards are different between the versions. So I'm going to collect two cards. And the album name is Hush Rush. Yeah, I don't have enough fillers. Um, I have to pick more up. Give me just a sec. sec. Oh, that's a beautiful bee. <laughs> it's not focused, is it? Yes. That's that. And then... Uh, <coughs> next up is Deco. I have already put this page in, but I need more fillers. Okay, so... Uh, Deco has... And first of all, uh, his album is Absolute Zero. And there's two versions, uh, burning and melting. And I'm going to collect um, one card per person. Um, and that's going to be for like how I'm going, like just like Ice One and One Hundred One. That's how how I'm going to do with um, uh, newest solos as well. Um, however, with Ren, um, I'm going to be like collecting probably all of his cards uh, if and when he has a solo debut um, but I'm going to be storing like similarly one card per version here in this binder and the rest in the boy groups binder with his um, newest album cards so yeah that's my plan for um, Ren uh, so, but for now, there's only Vekho for how to settle. However, um, uh, Jungyeon, Jungyeon, <laughs> um, that's how you're supposed to say his name, uh, JR, is uh, having his solo debut in November, so it's going to be probably the next one to go here, um, unless the other others uh, decide to announce theirs um, <laughs> to be earlier um, but yeah for now I only have a deco so yeah 
Did I say the album person names? Um, if I didn't, they are burning and melting. <laughs> I probably said them uh, previously, but oh well. Um, let's use orange ones. Oh, I think it's hard. Um, <laughs> Let's put these pillars in. So that's the beginning of this collection. Um, and then last up is um. How many pages are there already? There is... Um, six pages. I'm all, almost at the seventh page. Um, of course there is a lot more members or like artists to collect, of course. Um, but it's a lot of pages. Um, so that's <laughs> fun. Um, so, Jihoon. Uh, his album name is The Answer. And then there is two versions, Day and Night. Um, so, two photo cards to collect for um, this one. So, <clears throat> yeah. up uh, the word order because I'm rushing to true <laughs> writing is um, so yes yeah uh, probably with uh, the next Come back to add to this collection is probably going to start a new page. Um, it really depends on who it's going to be. Um, what I look at this most likely. Oh well, it's kind of not great. Great idea to say most likely. Uh, Jisang, <laughs> I forgot his name. Jisang, um, at least when I look at this, because there is Jisang and then Daniel had to come back and someone and uh, the other one. I'm having so hard, such a hard time remembering names at the moment. Um, but yeah, and now Jihoon is having his comeback. So if if they go in that order, order uh, the next one is most likely um, Jisang. Um, but um, Jihoon and Sungwon kind of like previously they had like back to back comebacks, so they might have the next one. And Jisang uh, had a quite a long break. Between this uh, mirror and I think it's temperature of love. So I don't know. Um, but I feel like there's 
not going to be new additions to this collection like uh, new comebacks uh, probably anytime soon and by anytime soon i mean in the next few months <laughs> but who knows but yes so that was it for uh, this video um <laughs> It's kind of a long one, um, before editing, at least what I now look, look looking at the phone screen, um, it's at least hour long uh, before editing. <laughs> so, um, um, what, why, why do I say at least? It is hour long, over an hour long at the moment. Uh, it's probably going to go down a few, like probably 10 minutes. minutes when I speed up parts and cut out stuff and stuff like that, but it's going to be a long video, so um, if you have stayed this long, thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> so as I said, this is it with this, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it, um, and yeah, uh, thank you once again <laughs> i'm repeating myself because my brain isn't working um thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye